so guys you can see that this in the center is the rdm6300 this over here is our antenna for the rdm6300 and this over here is a usb tutorial device i bring the card in front of the rdm6300 see the data is being sent that blue led represents the data is being received by the computer see i bring the card in front the data is being sent and there is a number on the card now i go to the USART terminal see that this is the packet coming so this is the same packet being repeated so here you can see that 98EDC3 is being sent now what I do is that 98EDC3 is being sent if you take a look at the card on it it is there is a number printed 00100223399 only the leftmost number that matters rightmost discard them and when you convert this number into a hex using hex converter you will see that this is the same 980dc3 that is received so that's all guys hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how you can interface an rdm6300 rfid module with a computer using usb 2 ttl device so guys rdm6300 rfid module allows you to uh, like detect RFID cards or keychains or whatever you have and you can then process the data. In this video, I will show you how we can first of all connect the RDM6300 with a computer and we will get the output on the computer and then we will see how we can uh, get this output uh, to be processed in our PIC microcontroller. In the next video, this is the prerequisite to the video I will make next in this series in which I will connect the RDM6300 RFID module with a PIC microcontroller. So for that, we will see whatever the output we get on the computer from this device. We will see how we can process it and we will write a co code accordingly for the pick. So guys, if for the USB to TTL device, you can use any USB to TTL device. It can be CH340, FT232 or CP2012 or any device available at your place. So guys, let's get started. This is our RDM6300 RFID module. You can see that it comes with an antenna. The good thing is you do not have to rub the card on this uh, uh, a module you just pass a card in front of this antenna only and it is detected by the module now you can see that uh, this antenna has a long wire so it can be a bit far away from the uh, module so this is a great feature and the great thing is rdm6300 rfid module allows the uart port it has a uart based output like it gives a serial output so you can use usb to ttl device or uart port of your pick to receive the data in a very simple way now guys let's do the connections as you can see that if you hold it like this upside down then you will see that there are two ports three ports one with two pins where this antenna is connected and you have to connect the antenna in the same way like this you only have to pass your card in front of this antenna not the module and it will be detected by the module and it will output the data at the same time to whatever you have like a microcontroller or the computer so in our case in this video we will be sending the data to the computer and then in the next video we will process it in the PIC microcontroller, microcontroller to do some useful tasks. Now guys as you can see there are two ports left one at the top with three pins and one at the bottom with five pins. Out of these eight pins only three pins are use useful either you connect it with a computer or with a microcontroller only three pins will be needed. If you hold it like this then the leftmost pin at the bottom port is a five volt we will need it. Then the next one is the ground and we will need it and the third useful pin is the rightmost that is the tx pin and the center two pin at the bottom port will go empty similarly the three pins at the top port will go empty as well so only these three pins five volt ground and the tx will be needed to connect it with a computer or with a microcontroller using the uart port now guys this is our usb2 ttl device ch340 i'm going to use this device now let me label it for you top pin is a 5 volt then we have vcc 3.3 volt tx rx and ground now to connect it with the rdm 6300 rfid module you connect the 5 volt pin directly with the 5 volt pin of the ch340 usb ttl device like this and then the ground will go to the ground of your usb ttl device like this and then the tx pin will go to the rx pin of your usb ttl device now whichever the usb ttl device you have all of the usb ttl device have these three pins uh, as necessary the 5 volt pin the ground pin and the rx pin they are in every usb to ttl device all you need are these three pins and in case of pic microcontroller i will show you in the next video you need to connect the uh, tx pin to the rx pin of the pic that is pin number 26 Sim now this is a very simple connection let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the on to the demonstration so guys this is the hardware as you can see 
in the center I have this RFID module this and then this is the antenna over here and that is our USB TTL device connected with the computer and this is the card I am going to use here and on the card you see that there is a number C 00102233915260867 now first of all let's go to the google and see what is the hexadecimal form of this number because this module outputs data in the form of hex and it is written here in the form of decimal now this left most number this number is important leave the right most the three digits 152 and 60867 so let's go to the google and see okay just let me zoom in so go, you guys can see better okay and in the google you just write down here decimal to hexa decimal converter simple uh, this whichever you use i just use uh, this one and i write the digits on my card here the leftmost one these are 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 2, 339 three, okay i convert it okay this is the hexadecimal part of this number okay why i did that now let me show you why okay now i go to the hardware again see that on the card here you can see the number it is 00100223339 at the bottom you can see that this is a number here 00100223339 leave the right numbers 152 and 60867 only the left most single digit uh, single number is important now see that this is what i had just written on the converter here see 00100223998 edc3 now what i do is that i go to the google or oh, sorry micro c for pick here just open it and the vision I am going to use for the micro C4 pick is 7.2.0. You can use the latest versions as well. And you can use any other uh, serial terminal as well. But micro C do have a built-in serial terminal. I will use that. Now go to the tools. In the tools you have this USART terminal. Go there. And check the port, whichever port it is. In my case it is COM4 where I have connected the USB TTL device. 9600 is the border. Let the rest are just default. Click on connect okay it is connected now whatever the data will be done will be received here now to show you the data what i do is that i simply adjust this okay now i think you can see that if we will receive the data here and this over here is our Okay, now I pass a card in front of it. Okay, see the data is received. Now you can see that we have received the data. See, this is the data we received here. Now see what, what type of data we are getting. It is like 3098EDC3. Now take a look here, 98EDC3. Now go back to the Google. Go back to the Google and see 98EDC3 is the decimal form of this digit that is what was on the card see that that is why i did the conversion so uh, the sensor is outputting data in the hexadecimal form see now it is double zero one double zero two three here you can see that this is what is written here on the card and when i convert it into the hexa form it becomes 98dc3 and when i check what is the data received then i get this data see it is 3098 EDC3. This is important. 98 EDC3. So that is the data we are getting. Now what we will do is that that is how we will get the output. Let me bring the card in front again. You will see that as soon as the card comes in front of the antenna, you will get the data. See, I bring the card in front again. See, the data is coming continuously. See, I remove the card. Data stops coming. It is continuously sending the same packet the number mentioned on it this number is being sent uh, but in hexadecimal form so that's how you dis distinguish uh, your rfid card if you have a different card you will get a different number that is printed on it see simple as that now what i do is that 
now we simply know that i will take this uh, number this one 98 ed c3 and will leave the rest of the numbers this is they are like two's complement or something like that i will leave these only this is important now when we are going to program our pick now we know that we only need to consider these so as soon as we get the packet of data from the sensor we will remove these digits and we will start considering from the 1 2 3 4 fifth string and up to the fifth string up to 1 2 3 4 5 6 only six digits are important here like this and rest of these digits we will discard and that is how we will do the c math or strings processing strings that is what is the beauty of c++ so guys i hope you guys learned something from this video in the next video with the rdm 6300 i will show you how we can process it so see that it is simple to use so guys thank you very much for your time i will see you in the next video